Mr. Honorable Judge Ibezimako Ozodinobi. I represent the good people of Anocha, Dunukofia, Njiko Cathedral Constituency, and from Anambra State. Mr. Speaker, due to your grace, I was among the people that sat in the front row. So I watched, as a principal officer, I watched Mr. President closely. Honorable colleagues, order please. Order, order please. He spoke. Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, the president spoke so eloquently. He spoke so eloquently that day with confidence. My worry in all his budget uh, estimate presentation, he named the um, budget of renewed hope, was the area of revenue, expected revenue, uh, the revenue that the country is expected, the estimated revenue of 18 trillion. 18 trillion. I have, I have, I have, Mr. Speaker, since that day been inundated by my former, my former uh, colleagues in business world who are predominantly importers. They are saying this revenue of 18 trillion. I hope that I will not sit here and allow the custom and exercise to start taxing them so astronomically at the port. That is not why I was elected. My people are predominantly traders, importers. They are saying that this 18 trillion revenue estimate is probably targeted at them, at the port. And the level of uh, hunger in this country today, Mr. Speaker, we are pleading that this 18 trillion estimated revenue in this budget let the renewed hope by this time next year let it not be a renewed hopelessness but mr speaker i want to thank your wisdom to have prepared the mind of this assembly by the one day retreat you had, we had with the chairman and the deputy chairman of this great assembly. You did it as if you saw tomorrow. Because I see this budget estimate that came late as a landmine for parliamentarians. It's supposed to have been presented two months back. I urge our colleagues to please take this budget very seriously, to work 24-7 in order to beat this landmine from uh, the executive from the executive, because if we don't finish this bill before the end of the year, the executive will blame us that they are the pe we are the people that delayed them not to start from day one next year. So I plead with all of us, please, to work and be serious in this work. I think uh, I'll rest my case. Mr. Speaker, and I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity 
to speak coming from the minority majority in this house. Thank you.